Yeah, welcome back to Career Build Series. This is episode 122, and uh, right where we left off here, I just put the uh, Mac R tow truck and wrecker and the um, pickup um, back in the workbench, and so I'm right there. And so I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the pickup to get this going. So I need to do some uh, some updates on this to get this to operate properly with the Cabrio. So um, let's first start. Let's look at the stiffness and damping. Very curious if I crank damping all the way up, if damping will fix this problem. And so what I'm going to do is a, a quick test. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I, I put those up. Stiffness and damping, those both went up. And then what I'm going to do is grab some weight blocks. I'm going to start hammering them in back here. Um, so this is where the weight's going to be, is back here. So what I'm going to do is I want to make a... Turn symmetry on, which is good. Okay. And I'm going to make a nice, see I'm dragging the center of gravity back. And so I'm going to make a fake car back here. So a fake car as though we are um, using this. And so this will help me also tune in the, um, the piston. So I want to see, is this enough that, so see it's still in front of the rear axle, which is where I want it. So I want to see what my, what my, uh, if this is functional like this all right and let's raise the boom all right so see it completely squats me out and I do a um, and it, it gives up on life okay good so that's a little bit of a uh, all right so that that kind of um, helps me decide what I want to do is I think that the uh, heaven suspension is going to be an issue so um, what kind of wheel was this? What is this? Uh, three by three. Okay. Uh, three by three, no suspension. Okay, I'm going to have to come out some, so let's go out. What is a five by look on like on this? Let's undo that. If I can get a five in here, which I can't. Five is close. A five is going to give me, let me go up, see if it'll let me go up one and put it in there. If I can do a five at the smallest setting, I wonder if I can get a five in there. Okay, so um, like a three at its largest setting is pretty close to a five at its smallest setting. Grip tire radius. Let's get the tire radius down. See if I can't get this in there. Because this might help me too, putting in a larger um, tire. Okay, so it just doesn't like that fender section there. Uh, it's sticking out of the fender well there. That's hitting there. Hmm. Yeah, that's problematic. Yeah, um, let's try a three. Try a three, three by and see what this looks like here. Yeah, so see that fits. The fender wells were built for that. And then let's check the sizing on this. Uh, what are we at here? Tire radius is two. Okay. Tire radius two. Tire radius two. Let's give it a look. Okay, now let's spawn that. Now we see if this squats as bad as the uh, the other one did. So there's no squat there, okay. Uh, but we're still lifting up the front. It's going light in the front end, and I can't get enough power off the boom to lift that much weight. All right, so that's uh, good to know. I'm trying to decide if I want to go hard axle in the front as well. I don't want to leave that soft axle in the front. So that helps, but as you can see, it's still still trying to tip me too much. All right. I Okay, let me do this. Um, I think the Cabrio was the same width as this was. Let me, let me try something here. All right, so there's another option. Let's do this. Let's try this. Um, this will get us a little bit more building, but um, 
I'll come back to this at some point. Um, I kind of like to make that work. Um, let's do this for now. Okay, what is all in here? Okay, we do have microcontrollers in there, so I have to keep that in mind. Um, what is that? That's a micro. Okay, these fr these frame rails should be good. These frame rails should be good to use. Okay, I'm um, kind of seeing what I have and talking to myself a bunch. All right. All right I'm going to take off symmetry here for this. This is kind of delicate surgery. I don't want to be screwing this up. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of rebuild uh, some of this. And I want to make a um, I want to make a drop table. Let's see, I'm trying to check where all my microcontrollers are. Wow, back is just all microcontrollers. Okay. Not the easiest problem to fix, but I um, should be able to do it. Do have some space here. Um, where are we at here? Let me check all. So these are all in. These are all small micros. This is going to be a problem here. Yeah, I was going to hopefully do something with that, but I don't think I can. Um, all right, a lot of talking to myself. I know. Um, I'll, I'll start getting working you can you'll be able to see what I'm working on so um, essentially what I want to make is a sliding table tow truck let me see so I'll make a tow truck version of this uh, let me just try to find one a ramp truck essentially yeah so just uh, essentially this a ramp truck like this with a ramp sliding ramp so that's what I'm kind of looking at um, right now trying to think that through really quick um, all right so I know how to do it now all right so let's get in here and we have some block there that's gone uh, let's grab tracks those were not anything we needed All right, so I'm just trying to make this work here. All right. So I'm just thinking of all the parts that have to operate for this to work. Those are wheel wells, are they not? Those are wheel wells. Okay, let's undo that. Let me cut out the wheel wells here. These wheels are going and I'm gonna put in some regular threes that are just, oh, no, I need to put in a, a kind of a spacer block in there. Put some three buys in here with, uh, oh, I, I'm gonna have to remember to re-grip these so that we have enough grip. And so I have no idea if this will work, um, but again, that's part of, part of the fun is just kind of go in there and see what we can do. And what is this? That should be clear on both sides. And then we get into microcontroller territory. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'll show you the mechanism once I get this kind of uh, built up. Is this, what is this? Is this micros? That's micro, uh, that's micro there. What is this? That's not micro. Okay, let's do this instead. So this, uh, I'm trying to find what all this looks like. Okay, that there. So this can rotate. Um, that can rotate like that. OK, 
Okay, so that can go right there. All right. And then I want to cut out that, cut here. Let's paint all this black. I have a table and I want to paint it black. Okay, and then I'm going to put, um, wish I had painted all this before. Could just do color swap. I hate color swap, but um, yeah, let me color swap that. I don't think I have anything white that I want to keep, so there we go. Um, all right, so now let's get some track. And they'll go this way, like so. No. It'll go like this. Let me see. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I keep saying no and redoing things. But if, if they do, if it does make a collision through the tire, I don't want it to constantly be a collision. I want it to kind of... Um, you know, I want it to be a, a momentary collision, not a constant collision thing. All right, so they stick off the back just a hair, I think. All right, so that's good. That's going to be, so that's a sliding track there, so I need track pieces here. That's going to be my spec slide. And I need a pivot and I need another slide the other way. So a little complicated this, but um, I think if it works, it'll be fun. So Okay, that's like that. Grab track here. set this up um, upside down okay needs to be upside down like this We're getting there, we're getting there, okay. Kinda wanna make sure I get as much of this mechanics in here as possible so that I know if I need to do anything else. All right, so this is gonna be the bed of it. I don't want to change colors. I want the uh, All right, we'll merge the, these together like so. Paint this here. I'm going to do the uh, kind of a silvery deck color here. Let's do this chrome color here. And then like that. All right, so that's our tipping bed. All right. So often, you know, building something purpose built for a particular task is actually going to be. You know, it's, it's um, jack. You know, the old expression "jack of all trades, master of none." Uh, this is kind of, kind of going off of that. You know, it's instead of being a jack of all trade, a master of none, we'll make a purpose-built something that is, um, you know, is good at its job, which is what I want to do here. 
you know, this hopefully will do its job well, where if I build something, you know, a module as much as I do like making modular stuff, um, doesn't always mean it's going to work well. All right, so that's going to be our sliding table. Try to get this, try to see how I want this to look. Yeah, cross bracing I think looks good. Yeah, that looks better like that, cross braced out. Um, and then do this pipe in between here. Okay, and then we'll have a winch on there. All right, I'm gonna start doing some throttles, just get this going. Um, so that's gonna be slide, that's gonna be slide, this is gonna be tip, okay. So these are all gonna be set to, I want them low, like no, no, 10%. We'll do 5%. I want to move it slowly so I don't have any issues with it jumping around. All right, and then this is going to be uh, negative 1. All right. All right, we'll test all this here. All right, so this first one here is going to be my tip. Nope. Uh, I don't want this. Yeah, tip. Okay, then this is going to be table one. This is going to be table two. Okay. All right, let's test this. Um, stop farting around. All right. Infant electricity needs to go on. All right, so those wheels are a little small. You need to fix that. So, uh, tips up. That's forward, so I want table one to go backwards. Might not need that extra slide on there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I may not need that extra slide here. Let me try something. Yeah, I could hardtail this. Um, I'm going to hardtail this. Okay. I just wasn't sure how, how much I need to do it. And again, the simpler I can make this, the better it's going to be. Um... Okay, I know where I want to be now, I think. All right, so let's uh, set this up here. I just want a pair of pivots here, right in the center. Like so. And I want them to go uh, that way. Okay. And then this is going to attach to, nope, that's not going to attach there, is it? No, it's not. Okay, good. Um, then what I want to do, I'm going to be a lot of talking to myself in this one. Um, i try to get this figured out. All right, so next thing I need to do is I'm going to put a block here, so I'll just make it a pinky block for now so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take a sliding track. It's 
sliding track here, I'll make that black. Okay, that's good there. And then I should be able to do track section here. Okay. All right, so let's hook this up. Uh, these merged. That is hooked to this, should hook to that. And then this should hook to that. And then these are now not a unit yet. Um, And okay, now those are one unit. Okay. All right, let's test this table out. So I want lift and I want slide. So we use these two. So lift here, slide is going to be here. Spawn it. Uh, let's do this. Let's go here. I want this to go at point um, negative point one. Uh, point one, hundred percent sensitivity. I'll change that later, but I um, just kind of want to see what's up. Um, spawn. Okay, let's try this now. Let's raise the table. Okay, let's slide the table. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's going to do that um, because I need to work work on it a little bit. But um, then the table is going to go down to the ground, like so. And then this would be bring it down to zero. That's stopped. And then what I'll do is I'll use a winch to drag the car up here. Like so. So what I need is, let me, I'm trying to count blocks. So one, two, three, four, let's say uh, one, two, three, four. Let's say four blocks will get us there. So I can take out four blocks of this track here. I don't need all that track. Yeah, I don't need all that track. So I'll do four out, um, and then this will drag up like so. Because I'm going to be using a winch. This is going to be dragging to the ground, so hopefully it shouldn't have a problem. Then we'll send this one the other way with the car, and hopefully I can get it to come up and then tilt the table. So point 0.1 is too slow, I think, point 0.25. And then I might be able to fake some pistons or something. Um, I'll see. All right. And then those back wheels are ridiculous right now, so I need to figure out what's up with these, if these are this wrong. They're all big now. What did I put on these? All rounds. Let me go all rounds on here. All round, come on, give me all rounds. Um, I don't know why it's sitting funny. Looks like it should be fine. Looks like it should be sitting right on the ground nicely. Okay, let's uh, start screwing with this here. Mm -hmm. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Um, how to do. Right, so anyways, I can cut four out of here. So let's go one, two, three, four. Place those with block. So, um, try to think. Can I put anything in here? Is the question. I think this is all occupied space in here. I really want this to lock up, lock to the front. So what I might do is. What's on this side? Exhaust is there. Okay, right here maybe. I don't know what this is there. Nothing? That's nothing. Perfect. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't do what I was going to do. I was going to put connectors there, but it's not going to work because I need to have two spaces between them to get them both to pair. Um, so that's fine. Um, what I will do, though, is I will add a gripper. So I want, to, I want this to lock or else as I accelerate, the table is going to slide backwards. So um, like that. And then on here, I want to add a... I'm going to add this. All right, so that, that's just a locking mechanism there to lock the table to the um, to that when I need to. All right, so we're making progress on this. It's tipping. It's doing that. I could put – I'm going to make this longer. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete or erase this. So I actually might regret taking out those four – blocks so I might put those back um, so this is just making the table less um, it's the angle it has to be less now that's that's all that is is I don't have to have as extreme of an angle when I put this down on the ground I can kind of do a lesser angle which is going to make it easier to winch a car up on there that's the whole point of changing that angle um, and then here where I deleted my four blocks I'm going to put those back in I may actually need them. May need them because uh, with changing the angle of the approach there, I uh, actually need this to go up further. Okay, so that's better. I might make a little lifting mechanism here in the back, um, like you'd have on a real tow truck at some point. All right, let me uh, let's spawn this again and see how it performs with the new. See, that's sitting low. I, I'm going to have to jack the ass up a little. What is going on here? Is something not behaving itself now? Something is not behaving itself. Oh, the, I, I have the lock on there. Okay. The, uh, what do you call it? The gripper is now is uh, now locked in there, so it's fighting the gripper. Okay, let's go like this, and where's the gripper? Release connector, okay. Okay, and then I want to raise this up. It's probably be the other way around, and then this can go out the other way. And this will go down. Yes, yeah, so see, I don't need as much angle. I don't need as much angle to the dangle doing it this way. It needs to go out further. Like I was saying, I needed those four blocks now. You can see how far out this is going. Uh, but you see it's changing the ramp angle. The ramp angle is now much less steep. And so this is a lot less steep. So it's easy to get a car on here. Um, all right, so next. Weight testing. So what's this way now? That weighs 894. So let's put some weight on here. So I'll kind of do it like what we think a car would be. Yeah, so that, that weighs more than this whole truck weighs, what I just put on there. Okay, let's release this. Raise it up. It's wobbly, but it's working. I can fix that with a gripper track, I think, if I have space. Space could be an issue, though. And then, so this will go down. And so as long as I can get this up and down with all that mass on there, I should be good. All right, now let's try sending it up, make sure it can pull the weight up. Appears to be doing it fine. It's a little wonky, but like I said, I can uh, I have some tricks I can do to uh, make it work a little bit better. All right, so that doesn't like that. It wants to go in at a weird angle. So okay, um, we'll play with this. All right, it's a proof of concept, and this is going well. Um, let's leave the weight on there. Let me get rid of this gripper for now. That's a late 
thing is having a lock. All right, so I need a, a helper, a, um, kind of a guide rail on here. So I'm trying to think of how to put a guide rail on here. So it needs to be right here. It's part of the issue. Um, so I'm going to eat into my bumper, I think. Okay. And we'll go, we'll eat into the bumper here. Let's see. Like that. And then I want a gripper. This is kind of fake it a little bit here. Let's see what this does here in a second. Okay. And then now this goes like that. Let's make sure they're the same color. Okay, those are the same color. That's fine. This has rotational room. That's good. And then I want it on the table from here all the way down. And so this is not going to be, this is not going to, actually this will lock, um, I'll put the brake on here. This will be our locking mechanism too. Okay. Are you through the end there? We are just, I think, through the end there. Yep, uh, one more block, one more block. We can cut and we're good. All right, we're gold. Um, let's grab track. All right, we're doing pretty good on time here. Hopefully I can get this out and do a rescue here before we run out of time. Okay, and this will go all the way to the back like so. All right, so that's going to run around, run along these uh, grippers, and hopefully that will help us here. Let me spawn it. And let's see if this makes it less wonky. Hmm. What's up now? Okay. Is this trying to hit that? Is that what that's doing? See if it rotates once the weight comes in the back now. There we go. Okay. That works because the um, this was having to bend before, and that's how it was letting it go. You know, it was springing. Well, now um, you actually want to put it shit back first, and that's how they actually work. So Beautiful. Okay, so this hopefully should work. Um, yeah, so I can actually delete that one there. Okay, good. Let's go the other way. Right, so the table should go, and then it should probably tip on its own, I'm thinking. I wonder if I need pivots. I might not need pivots. I might not need powered pivots. Let's put it that way. I don't think I need powered pivots. I don't think I need powered pivots. Okay, let's do this. If I can get rid of these powered pivots, that would be awesome. I think how to make this work though. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. How to make this work without without powered pivots? Let's do this to start with. Uh, let's grab these. Let's remove the power. Let's just see if this works. So I'm going to take all the power off those pivots. We're not going to let those pivots do any work. This could simplify it even more. Let the table come out on its own. And when it's ready to tip, it tips. And so it's going to do it all by uh, kind of a seesaw action. See, when it's ready to seesaw, it seesaws. And then it will push itself all the way out. Yeah, so I should be able to do that with just regular pivots. Okay, and then when it wants to go in, it's going to all be based on seesaw action. That's better. That's a lot better. Yeah, see, I'm not actively trying to tip it now. 
So not only is it simpler, but it's going to make it a lot easier, I think. Then when it's ready, it just seesaws into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the ticket, man. That's that's how we want to do this. Nice. All right. So I want to add. Some, I can't do that. That's too many blocks there. Okay, I might be able to do some uh, this. Okay, good. So let's do this. I'm going to rip a little bit apart just to see what I'm working with. So I want to put a gripper in the middle here. Right right where there's something that I desperately probably need. Um, okay, I need that. What are you? You are the big microcontroller. All right, where are my microcontrollers? Okay, I could do it right here, I think. So what I'm what I'm kind of th uh, you know what let me see all right let's cut these we'll do a little bit of microcontroller shuffling here I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second um, I'm trying to give this more rigidity and so the more rigidity the less likely it is to be really super duper wonky and uh, not behave itself so what I'm gonna do here is I want to get that into place here. What is that? Um, did I copy those instead of um, what is sitting there? Where did I just move those microcontrollers from that are now like telling me I can't do that? What is this? What is this stuff here? That just blocks. Those are just blocks. I can delete those. They are just blocks, I think. What is that? Uh, that's a micro there. Okay. I'm trying to get this uh, big microcontroller moved here. All right. Let me. Uh, this is going to be a mess. So I'm going to. Okay. I'm not going to try that like that. Um, all right. So let's find where we have a gap in microcontrollers, which is right about um, here. Okay, so that is a is that a gap in microcontrollers? That is a gap in microcontrollers. So that's getting cut. And then under here, where that gap is that I just built, um, I'm going to put a. And this should I should be able to slide this microcontroller right back, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to build a gripper. And this is going to be another uh, like uncontrolled, unpowered gripper. And what this one's going to do is, um, I could do the sideways. This could be my sideways gripper. Okay, this is going to be my sideways locking gripper. Okay. And so then I'll cut the middle out, except for those last four blocks. Okay, I don't need all that behind there. Because it's only going to touch here. Okay. Don't think I even need it to lock. It, it, there's gonna be two of them, so they have if they have breaks, they should be all right. So I know I'm talking to myself a bunch, but um, I'm just talking through it in my head, and then I will show you how this is gonna work. And hopefully, because if it doesn't work, then there's no point in me going on about it all day. So um, that's there, and then I want to take a track section of these these sliding connector tracks. Also delete that and then this is going to go like this now let's make sure it's facing the right direction it is okay so now that's going to go there that's going to slide along that set and give us even more stability now you probably noticed or you maybe didn't this was glitching through here a little bit because of the weight that shouldn't do that anymore it should sit on that gripper that's why i put that there so see, this isn't glitching through anymore. This is sitting nice and perfectly where it's supposed to. That's what that's all about. Okay. And now it has three gripper tracks uh, gluing it to there, so it shouldn't pop up while we're driving. 
once it gets to the pivot point, it should let go of this one. Bango. So that controls where it lets go. Okay. So it's 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 adhered here until it gets to that point, then it pops off. Now when we bring it back in, it's gonna pop down, it's gonna land on this, this is gonna grab it and hold it, and then it's gonna slide it here and give it even more stability. And then as we're driving, uh, the brakes will activate on this and they'll grab onto this track and make it less likely to um, do it. So now that dropped and grabbed that gripper. So now it has three points of contact, one, two, and three. Um, why is it not liking this here? Okay, so it just got hung up for a second. That's not a huge deal. Okay, good. So that's working well. So let me try to see if I can't get the pivots done, and then we're close to hopefully be able to go and rescue this. All right, so I want to change these. Um, get out rid of that. All right, I'm going to grab the pintle and the light cord, and I'm going to move them out. Those are going to get uh, something different going to be done with those. All right, I want to look at this. So I want to... Get rid of these pivots here. Let me see what everything's connected to. So the blues, this needs to be on the blue track. Red track, so I need something on red track to hold. Something needs to hold in the frame. And then the blue track is holding on to there. Okay, good, so I, I know what I'm doing now. So let me cut out this. Okay, so I need to co connect to both the, um, these sliders here. Let me think how to do this. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. Uh, let me redo it. I might not. I, I need to look at the colors and figure it out. So. Um, the table, the pink, slides on these slider heads here. And then the, so I need blue to pink and then red to hold blue. Okay, so I might have to fake it a little bit here, but that's not a big deal. All right, red holds blue. And then pink's the sliding table. Okay, I think I can do this here. Try to just do them with these pivots here. See, these are threes, which I don't really need. I want threes. But I can go like this. So red holds blue. Okay, that's all I need to know. Um, okay, so this is red holds blue is all I need to know. Red holds blue. Okay, let's try this. This should work. All right, so it's going to go to when it reaches that uh, gripper head. It's going to pop off. That controls the slide. As you can see, that bends. That gives me space in there to put in my mechanism that I need to do in the future here. And then I think this one I can delete those two fronts there because as you can see these these here never reach. There's one block off. So that's perfect. Okay, let's go the other way. So this is all gravity based. Um, you know, in engineering simple is safe. So the, the more simple you can make something, the safer it is just from, you know, I don't mean like necessarily like safety, but uh, less likely it's to break or cause you problems. So. By having a simpler system here, this really is making it much easier and more likely that this functions. All right, so we had a hang-up last time. We don't have that hang-up this time. Perfect. This is really working well. Okay, good. So that works. Um, what did I want to do? I just wanted to fix something here, and I can't think of what I was doing. Okay, let's do um, bucket. Oh, I, I remember what I need to do. Okay, so I need to come in here and then these two here. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to delete those. That will also control my distance a little bit. Um, let me get symmetry on so I'm not doing everything twice. Okay. 
Uh, what's my merge here? That's good. So this, this is working really well. Okay, so now, time-wise, we're on time. Okay, we're getting close on time, but we're also getting close to being done. Um, all right, so... Um, a lot of these, so these, uh, these Totrex IRL have a, they'll have a, um, kind of a tow apparatus in the back so you can actually lift the vehicle. I'm going to put one of those on, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I kind of want to just, yeah, I kind of want to get, um, I want to go try this. So I still need to build a winch and a control mechanism, so I'm not going to get into that yet. Now let's merge that. All right, so let me see where am I, I'm trying to see what I need, what parts I need here. So that is, is that a gripper? I can't tell. I'm trying to see, uh, you'll see what I'm doing in a second here. I'm trying to just find where I have free blocks where I can put some stuff like a microcontroller or something. Okay, so right there, just kind of looking around. All right, so let's get, get moving on getting this done. Um, And that has gripper track in the middle, right? So do I want to cut out a gripper track? Let me see. It does have a gripper track in the middle, so I don't want to cut it out. So let's do that. Okay. Let me actually grab... Um, I think I'm going to do with this silvery color here that I'm using on, the, uh, on those side rails. There we go. And then I think... That will look, make that look a little beefier. That's good. Okay, so we have our winch. Let's delete all this off. Okay, that's gone. Um, I want it on one side. I want to control it from here is usually where you control it from. Okay, panel. All right, so I need to, um, let me see. Table in. Arrow button left. Uh, I'm trying to think if I want this pusher toggle. I'm thinking I want this. Uh, what do I want this as? Tough to decide. Um, Let me think. I know I'm taking too much time doing this, but um, let's do that as toggle. Um, yeah, toggle. All right, table in. And then so that's one. This is going to be uh, work lights. Work lights. Um, okay, and then that's going to be a flip switch. That way we can run it without power. Uh, this is going to be table out. Table out. That's going to be a arrow button to the right. Three. This here is going to be um, unlock table. Okay. And I'm going to put this in because I want to... Um, I want to shut all these sliders off when I'm not using them. And so they're going to be powered and using power, but when I do unlock table, it's going to do that. So toggle four. Okay. Then this is going to be um, winch in. Winch in. It's going to be, uh, so I put those in between to kind of segregate them from these that are going to look the same. Um, that's going to be a toggle. That way I can walk around and use it. So, five. And then this is going to be um, winch out. It's 
be seven. So this will let me uh, feed out all the cable as I'm walking around with it. All right, what to do here? Um, so this will eventually be for when I add the up-down section here. So let's do that. Um, so two is going to be, and that, these will be up-down. So that's going to be um, toe lift up, up, arrow button up push that's gonna be a push um, six and then four is gonna to be toe lift down down that's gonna be a toggle uh, that'll be an arrow button down toggle and that will be eight eight okay good so that's set um, where's do I have microcontroller space under here I have a one by there. This is occupied. This here. Um, let me rebuild my fenders really quick too. I don't know uh, what I'm gonna. Okay, I don't need fenders there. That's fine. Okay, that's gonna be occupied. This area here. Could maybe take a microcontroller for now. I'm just gonna put one on top. And then I have a space to stick it. So okay, good. So this is gonna be. Um, toe bed okay so uh, let's go logic composite panels okay is that... all right next thing I need is uh, output winch up winch in okay output winch out Work lights, work lights, number output table sliders, okay. Gripper brakes, all right. Uh, what else do I need? I think that might be it. Uh, yeah, that might be it. I'm going to put the control for the uh, mag all on the on there. So this I could probably control for the mag all is there and then I need up down. That's just a number. Yeah, let's go like this. Um, hopefully that should be enough. All right, let's start hooking this up. I want to get this mission done. We're getting on time here. Um, enjoy kind of building a little bit. Um, kind of doing something different. You know, a different type of tow truck. If I just built another tow truck, you know, I just built one. So it's kind of kind of nice to do a little something different. So uh, first thing we're working on is table sliders. So those are toggles. Yep, those are toggles. So um, let's see. We're going to do a... I think how to do this. Trying to think how to do this. So I'll get moving on this as it is, and then I'm going to increase the speed to 0.25. Okay. Okay, so zero rains a day. This goes here. All right, so start at zero, uh, and then the one that presses this is going to be one. So read on off is one. So if we press one, we get that. And then if I press uh, three, I think she'll do this. Uh, that will go here. This will go. I like it the way it was. Okay. 
So zero, if I press that, this will press that. Okay, good, that's there. All right, and so that will pass through to the table sliders. Okay, so table sliders are done. Okay, next thing. If this reads a zero, I want uh, gripper breaks. So if this is a zero, gripper breaks. Work lights is gonna be, what is work lights? Work lights three, three. So I don't need that gripper breaks button anymore, or the table lock. Um, but I will table unlock. Yeah, I don't need I don't need that anymore. Okay, so I'll, I'll I can do something with that. Um, winch in and out. I'm trying to think what the panel looks like. Uh, winch in is five. Winch in is five. Okay. And then winch out is six. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this should work uh, as is work lights. Um, what was work like? Words lights is two. Okay, work lights is two. All right. And then I think I'm obscuring my camera with all this in the back here. So what I'll do is this. So that lets me see my camera. Or my work lights. Okay. So let's uh, start hooking electricity up here. These two lights can go to lights. Uh, these sliders are powered. So I think also go there too. This can go to panel, winch, and then what am I running here? Am I running everything hot? I think I just have a hot. Yeah, this is hot. That's one of the reasons why I ran out of uh, electricity at one point was everything's hot. So that's fine. Um, all right, so let's get this hooked up. So gripper brakes. So we have a uh, brake, brake, and brake. We have tow winch in, so that's up. We have um, tow winch out, that is down. We have work lights. Okay, and then we have to hook up composite um, from this. All right, so let's hide this somewhere. Do I have a four by two anywhere? Probably not. I could put it in the bed in this. Um, put it right here on the table. So. I just need to find where that gripper is. I don't want to delete something that, there that I need. Yeah, I need to be careful where I put this. It needs to go in between these two track sections here. Okay, so it's between the track sections and it needs to be just south of this gripper, which it is now. Okay, so that should be good where it is. All right, so hopefully that doesn't interfere. So let's, uh, let's test this out. Let's take off infinite electricity. Okay. Uh, let's go table out. Okay. Let's see what's up with this. That's merge. Let's see.
Electricity, electricity, oh, we're all zapped up. All zapped up, we got zappies. Okay. Data. Gripper breaks. So let's see if, uh, so I'm pressing one. If I press one, press one there, it should give me that. Um, I should do this with an up down counter. Yeah, let me do this with an up down counter. That'll be better anyway. Um, let's go like that. And then we want up down counter 0 0.25. Negative 0 0.25, 0 0.25, enabled, reset value 0. Okay. Those should be toggles. And then if... be a reset there. Table sliders goes here. Read that. If that's zero, then I want gripper breaks. Okay, let's try this instead. See if that works better. These should be toggles. Toggle, it is a toggle. Okay, I didn't color them. That would be helpful. Um, didn't seem like they had electricity. So let's, oh, you know what, are they, no, uh, they're merged. Okay, let me spawn them, see if they have electricity. Yeah, it has electricity, okay. Yeah, see, that's supposed to be a toggle, and it's not toggling, okay. All right, and let me put a dial on here. Electricity there. Okay, I didn't hook them up. I'll do it every time. Every time. And then, why are these not toggles? See, that's the thing. It says toggle, table and toggle. Work lights. Two, three is toggle. Toggle, toggle. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Impact linear track head. Why will you not read what you're doing here? Okay, so it's showing negative two five. These might be backwards. Yeah, they're backwards. Okay, that's fine. They're just backwards. Table goes out. Slides against the ground. Table comes in. And let's see if these brakes come on. Brakes are true. Okay, so hopefully that doesn't slide backwards when I drive backwards. Winch in, winch out, uh, our toggles. That's something to do later. I don't need the unlock table anymore, work lights. Uh, I can't tell if they're on because they are probably have black lights. Lights are true. I can't tell with this light on here. Let me shut it off. Yeah, so that's probably just the the lights are black. So, um, all right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm almost done. Um, okay. All right, paint this theoretically. Okay, paint this. Paint. Give me the paint. Give me the paint. Okay, good. And I want this paint here. Come on, man. Just give me what I want. Give me what I'm asking for here. Okay, that goes like that. All right, let's, I want to get a uh, get this going here. All right, so I need a cable. Okay. I need a t two side toggle. All right, I need a mag all.
Okay. Alright, so logic, this is going to uh, turn the mag all on. This is nothing. Uh, electricity, I need zing zing like that. That's already powered. I need a rope connection there. Default position on this, I'm going to start as uh, on so that this will attach to the deck until I detach it. And hopefully we're ready to get out of here. Let me do a quick color in here. Uh, there we go. See if that will get the work lights going. All right. Um, let's call it, try to go get this car. May work. It may not work. I don't know. Uh, so we will see. No way to really tie it down. Um, but let's go try it out. Worst case, it doesn't work. Um, let me test this really quick while I'm here. This is backwards again, I forgot, so I need to fix that at some point, but it's not critical. Okay, so this should be attached. It is connected, that's working. Okay, good. All right, so let's get out of here. And so the brake should be on the slider, so hopefully that doesn't slide off on us. You can see it's kind of, because that has suspension in the front, I can actually probably drop those back wheels down one. All right. So let's go get this red cabrio that I dumped on the highway. We've been in the uh, workbench the whole time, so time shouldn't be progressing while we're in the workbench. That's my understanding. Doing about 50 miles an hour. Doing faster than we were going with the module. I still could use some more, some low gearing in this. So I'm kind of banking on that magall in the front to hold this car. That could be folly. Um, as long as it holds it tight enough to the front that the um, that it doesn't slide off the back. Hopefully those pipes should keep it um, in there. I wonder if it's wide enough. I might have to widen this bed out by one each side. To accommodate a car if I need to do that it's not a big deal because if you notice the mirrors are hanging off one on either side so that actually won't make it too wide yeah. All right, there's a red cabrio so this would be kind of cool I uh, have a little little tiny tow truck um, this will make these missions a little bit more realistic all right so there's my red cabrio all right so let's Slam these brakes here. All right, let's try to get this done quickly. All right, so I want to winch out. This can shut off. I want to. Uh, that was locked the whole time, but it was powered, so that was fine. I don't hear the winch going. Come on, man. If I just did screwed this up, I'd be annoyed. Oh, come on. Got to be kidding me, man. This is the sort of stuff that kills me. All right, so let's end it here. Um, you know, uh, this ended up spending the whole time building. Um, let me fix this. I'm gonna jack this back axle up, so we'll, I'll move this down one. Um, that will keep this sitting flat and be a little bit jacked up. Um, and then what I'll do is in the next episode, I will start by just doing the rescue. And hopefully, and I'll start it back here at the Cabrio. And then, um, We'll test it out. Uh, let me just check something really quickly. Yeah, I don't know what I screwed up with the winch. The winch should be set. I don't know why it screwed up. So I'll, let's do that. Let's um, end this here. Um, I'll try one more time, see why the winch is misbehaving. Yeah, we're not getting a winch out signal um, for some reason. Yeah, so I'll figure that out. I'll fix this. Um, and then next, beginning of next episode, we'll start at the Cabrio, and uh, we'll do it from there. All right, see you then. Bye. All right, so I'm just tacking this on to the video here. I, I went back and I worked on this. Um, did a couple things. I'll kind of talk to you about how I, what I did. I, I went ahead and just uh, widened it by one. If I can shrink it, I'll go back and shrink it. But widened it by one to get this done. I just uh, used the wrong number on that, so that's fixed. Uh, changed the back frame, made it look a little bit simpler and better. Um, I put on five five by fives in the back. Um, see how this functions. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, head back to the um, Cabrio and uh, see how this works for us. So a little bit beefier uh, tires in the back with those fives on there. Um, you know, hopefully that gives us a little bit better um, suspension. Anyways, um, just beefed it up a little bit. Um, we're, we're faster now too. We have better grip on the back. So uh, we're going 60 miles an hour now. So this is, uh, is uh, working better. Didn't take me long. I just uh, should have added on the video, but I don't want to have to have you guys watch me drive back to the Cabrio. It's sitting right up here. So hopefully should be able to drag this on. Um, be nice if I could make it go back to the, the standard width, but it's not the end of the world. They line up with ooh, they line up with the mirrors, so it's not uh, it's not like it's you know hanging over more than it should. Um, that back frame should be wider, but um, I can fix that as well. But we'll uh, try to grab the cabrio. Um, you know, this way we can see if I can shrink the back, make sure this works. Um, if this works, we're in good shape here. We have another uh, another toy in the t in the toy box, another tool in the toy box. Um, slam it on the brakes. Okay, and yeah, so let's go ahead and set that brake. Um, try to do this expeditiously. All right, let's uh, send the table out. Redid the gauges, fix those. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start sending out my winch. And that way it'll be ready for me. And I'll grab this mag all and we'll... I need to let it uh, send some winch out here. Cable's going to take a little time to uh, go here. And while I'm waiting on that, I'm just going to set the car up. It will drag fine probably, but since I can drag it as well, I'll drag it to kind of help myself here. Um, you know, this was a, this mission was kind of dragging as it was, but I've enjoyed building it, so that's all that really matters is if you're enjoying yourself. So, um, this car is going to try to run over my Magal. That's not, that's pretty, pretty rude of it. Um, so let's grab it here. And now the car wants to go away. Beautiful, got it. Uh, let's, let's reel this sucker in. And let's see how my electricity is doing. Ah, yeah, we're not burning much electricity at all, so we're good. Like, these track sliders are pushing out the whole time, so I don't know if they were going to be a problem. And so some things to worry about here is, um, you know, like I said, I made it wider just, just you know, in case to make sure this wasn't going to have problems. See how fast this is going. Okay, we're not too far away. Here it is. It's going now. So I'm going to kind of guide it in with my body. Um, I kind of parked up against the rail here so that the car doesn't have much choice. It's got to kind of go on the on the record bed. Um, the car seems pretty wide, so I probably need to keep the width that I have. But uh, hopefully it's able to drag the sucker on board. It's going to be iffy. This is a wide car, man. Really wide car. Okay, so that's about where it needs to be. So I guess this is, uh, this is what we're, we're dealing with here. Uh, this car is wide, man. Um, it actually, you know, it probably fit on. So I can't make it any narrower, but that's actually probably pretty good, actually. Okay, so gravity could be an issue here. So that's all right. Let me see if I can't get my player character up here to fix it. So what I, one thing I can do is add weight onto the front of this table. Um... So, yeah, if I add weight to the front of this table, uh, maybe we can get that to go because I can't get that cable to go anymore. So let's set it like this, and let me try a trick here. Okay, I almost did it with the brakes. Slide it forward and then went back. But I'm Trying to slam on the brakes and have the table come down. All right, so that's not working there. Um, probably some weight blocks might do it. All right, so let me see if I can get this cabrio back. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something to try to get this back. It actually, I think that bed's just perfectly wide enough. Uh, if you notice, the connector's not in the middle. 
There we go. Slamming the brakes now. See if we'll go down. Now. Oh, it's close. It's close. Just need to put some weight blocks underneath there, and then the front will be heavy enough that it will hopefully um, need to kind of get it on the balance point there. Yeah, see, it's annoying that I have to have three blocks to get that mag all for the winch. Um, actually, I might have a strategy for this. Um, let me see. All right, I have, I have an idea. Let's get right in the center of the road here. So see the mag all is not connected to the center of the car. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this both in the center of the car, but I'm also going to um, oops, set the brake. Uh, I'm also going to put it on top of the hood. And so see if I can get it to pull further forwards. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's not really realistic, but whatever. Okay, so let's push this sucker back off. And I want to reset it. And I'm going to be a little bit more careful where I lay this. So, um... Go ahead and let out some cable. And I want to set this mag all so it's where it needs to be. I need to get some cable out there. Is, it, is the mag all grabbing? Mag is connecting. Okay. Alright, so let's grab this. And let's try to put this on top of the hood right in the middle. That's going to give me, um, you know, it, it needs to be centered to be centered on top of the uh, truck. And then um, by putting it here, I should be able to get it f the car further up onto the bed. Because I'm using just gravity here. Where's the toggle button? There we go. Okay, I'm stuck in this car for a second here. Let me fix. There we go. Okay, good. So now I've grabbed it. So it's in the center and it's further away. So that hopefully should help me. I'm gonna take a minute to get this to winch in. I should. You know, I was thinking of increasing the winch speed, but not necessarily sure I want to do that because I kind of want it to take its time getting in there. I'm gonna push the car to try to line it up better. Um, and then the winch, when the winch is ready to actually pull it, I'll be hopefully lined up. So I'm going to kind of watch this tire here, see if I can't get this front lined up. Yeah, see we're close here to being where I need to be. There we go. Yeah, so see, I, I couldn't go any uh, narrower if I wanted to. All right. And I'm just waiting on the winch to catch up. Here it comes. You can see it's pulling slack right now, so uh, hopefully this will drag it up onto the top. There we go. There we go. Look at that. It's coming right in the middle. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a little bit off here, but... Okay, so now see how it's further forward? Hopefully that's enough to get the tilt bed... Uh, to drop itself. Once it drops, it will lock onto this gripper, and we're in we're in business here. Okay, so I need to limit this so it can't bend so far back. Can I can I help it along? I can't. Let me get up there see if I can't add my own weight to the tilt. So some weight blocks underneath are a thought. Yeah, see, I'm close here to getting it going. Uh, so that's holding. Let me see if I can't slam on the brakes and get it to tip. I just need it to go enough so that it drops and then it will grab. Okay. So the other option is change the pivot point. Oh, move the pivot point a little bit forwards. Okay. So that's another thought. So let's see if I can't turn around with this cabrio on my back like this. I'm going to put on the um, four-wheel drive here. Give me a little bit more... Uh, give me a little more grip. All right, so if I change the pivot point, that, that will help. 
And then what I'll do is I'll I'll put something so that see it, it it's tipped past where I want it to tip, so I'll put something that that see like that. It shouldn't be able to tip all the way. Um, six. So not not necessarily um, the most beautiful uh, grab, but let me. Uh, <laughs> but it's it's comedy and comedy gold, I guess. Um, <laughs> beautiful setting for uh, absolute lunacy. But uh, yeah, so maybe some weight blocks in the front of this. Um, I got to see what battle cannon parts are. I could put those up the front. Um, and then I need to limit it so it can't tip that far back. It should tip at 45 degree, 45 degree angle and not go any further. Um, so that's the other thing. I could go back to using uh, regular pivots because ugh, they're limited to 45 degrees. I need to remember that I am in uh, Korea, so... Yeah, me being a career is dangerous with this, doing this. Um, there we go. I going to say, if I wreck, I'm going to be uh, out here craning this up over the side. I could the I could use the Macar Wrecker. I might be able to get it up over the side, but it would be ugly to try to rescue this crap. So, All right, let's get this Cabrio back. Um, you know, so this is showing me some more things that I need to do, which is good. Oh, come on, man. It's 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 unhappy. I am going too fast too, but it's unhappy. So um, a little bit longer table. So I think I'm going to stretch the truck trucks a little on the short side. Um, so that will move the pivot point. Um, so the pivot point definitely needs to move. And the um, if I can move the pivot point, maybe go to uh, the back to the old pivots because those. Uh, will lock out at 45 degrees, which is what I want. These will go... Uh, I could I could see if I could get these. I'm trying to think how these are going. Yeah, I was trying to do these up-down before that would have fixed this, but um, I, I couldn't do it, so... I wish I could do 3x3 three three dualies. That would be nice, but... Um, Could do two sets of axles in the back. That would give me more drive capability, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, come on. Yeah, if I moved my rear axles uh, backwards some more, that would change the pivot point. Because, again, you think of it like a seesaw. I need to get enough weight ahead of the point of pivot that it will um, drop. And you can see I still have a lot of weight in the, in the back. But we should be able to finish this mission here. All right. Where does it need to go? It needs to go here, so... <laughs> Look at that! It dropped right at the end. You've got to be kidding me. That is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious that it dropped right at the end of the mission. That's funny. That is real funny, dude. What is going on here? That that That's great. Alright, I need to find where to deliver this sucker. Um, where am I compared to where it's going? It's going right here. Um, Alright, let me drive around see if I can find where it needs to go. So see, the gripper tracks have that adhered now, so that shouldn't come up on its own. So it, it you know, it seems like it's a pain, but it's actually, maybe it's over there. Uh-oh, I'm having uh, lagging issues here. So, doesn't like something. Welcome back to Career Build Series, episode yep, 113. I know what it was. So, um... I still need some money, and so I think we're going to do a train coal. That's me. Um, finish in and upload. That was taken forever. I've not gotten this mission's completion yet. It might be over here. It's going to probably be close. There we go. Okay, good. That's done. All right, so... <laughs> It's worth 1800 That's hilarious. Okay, good. Um, 
All right, so I'm going to continue to work on this. Um, I left that on, which I didn't need to. Okay, let's see why the table's not moving backwards now. You make sure these unlock. Okay, breaks false. That's good. Okay. It's, there it goes. Okay, it's starting to behave now. So I need to do a little bit of work on this, but um, make a good progress. Okay. All right, so let's jump in there and let's finish this up. Hopefully it won't take long. The red cabrio is still here. Oof, oof, don't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we're close enough. I was going to say if I'm not close enough, I'll be so annoyed. Okay, um, this is actually not too bad, what I need to do here. So let's start with this. It's a little on the short side, um, so we should be able to finish this with a, just a little bit of geometry work. So, um, let me grab this like that. Let's go out. One, two, is that three? Three. Okay. And then let's grab this. Go like so. Merge that. And then... I'll just do a quick measure here, really quick. What's that? That is six. Um, Should have gone one more. Um, that's fine, whatever. I'm not going to worry about too much aesthetics. I'll work on aesthetics, you know, myself, I think, just to. So it's not. Oh, come on. Where are you at? There, guy. There we go. Okay. So that's good. Um, I need to move this back axle rearward um, and then the pivot point is fine can I put it on the right where the uh, pivot point that's fine let me see can I move this this axle rearwards a little um, pivot point does need to come back okay let me see what I need to do here okay so this needs to cut that much I need some of these. Okay, that's that. Next thing I need to do is I want to get rid of these because it's um, I want something that can only go 45 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab my pintle and my light cord and move those back again. Okay. And then what I want to do, I want to go back to the old pivots, which are these compact robotic pivots. And then it's going blue to um, red. And what I want to do here is set these up so they can only go 45 degrees. And so now, if I set them like this, they can only rotate 45 degrees. Yeah, so if I'm facing down, they can only go 45 degrees. All right, like so. And then this will go to the frame. Frame block in there. And then these uh, pivots need to go to the frame like so. All right. All right, so now that is connected. So that should pivot fine there. I'm just going to grab these, cut these, and put these back where... Uh, put this in here. Let's put this here between these two. 
And then let's put the light cord above it. And then I will deal with this later with what I decide to do with that. As long as they're at the pivot point, that should work. Um, all right, so. Can I move my axle back, my wheels back one? I think I can probably. Move back two probably. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Makes it a little bit less of a nice decoration type thing, but I think we'll be all right. All right, let's cut those out. And then that's rotating there. All right, so that will go like that. Make sure that's all colored correctly and working. Let's actually undo that. I want to make them black blocks and then I'll color the interior instead. All right. All right, so that's there. And then I need to paint the tops here. All right, so that should hopefully fix a bunch of the issues this had. Um, weight blocks. Let's try to put some weight blocks in. We can put them underneath here. Go like this here. And then I want to go So that will be as wide as the um, table is. All right. All right, so I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go check the mechanics of it again. I don't want to do a ton. I just want to get this mechanically working. And so what I want to do here is under here, um, I'm going to put weight blocks and I'm going to color them that color that makes them go away. I wish you could make it so that only the, the dot only showed up in the editor. That's what I would like. Um, let me do a color swap here um, for this. There we go. That's not much difference and that hides the weight blocks. So, And then we'll grab more weight blocks here. No, oh, I put them in the wrong spot. Okay. So I need weight blocks again. Weight block, and then I need to make sure they're attached to the table. Um, and then that goes to the table. Then these go to the table like that. And then that should add a bunch of weight to the front of this so that hopefully it helps it drop. So let's uh, save that up. And let's do this as a backup. All right, now let's go out and try to grab this car again and see if it works. So, a little bit longer wheelbase, which will be helpful for tipping the actual truck itself. And then um, more weight in the front. Change the pivot point. The pivot should not allow it to go more than 45 degrees. Uh, oops. Oh, oh. 
We screwed up. Um, these here need to be set to zero power. We're also going to be in trouble. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think we're good now. Famous last words. Um, all right, so hopefully this is uh, working well now. Could move the winch one forward too, which would help me have some more space. Front tires look a little comically small. Um, if I get fives in there, maybe put fi hard fives in there that aren't, uh, you know, put hard, yes. Okay. So I'm going to drag this uh, into position here. So Actually, I don't think I am. Uh, let's go six. Let me just set this up. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to play around with it too much already. This whole thing has been taking quite a while. Okay. Yeah. See how wide this car is. This car is ridiculously wide. Part of it is because it's you know it's two blocks wider than the seats, and the seats are three buys anyways, so it makes it ridiculously long. So the car is just overly long I would say so that's kind of uh, you know I wonder if they're all like that that width um, or maybe my pickups just overly narrow but that seems like a normal size to me uh, I think it's just you know this is kind of like a race car so, okay so you know definitely I need to put some stuff out the back there but um, we'll see set the brake and let's let's just do a tip here up, up, up. We're going to crush the car, crush the car, crush the car, crush the car, crush the car. Okay. I should, should have known I needed a gap, but I didn't put a gap. Okay. Now let's line this up better. There we go. All right. Let's grab this. I'm going to do the same thing where I jump on the hood. Um, it is longer now. Let's see if I need to do that. I might not need to do that. But I want to get it right in the middle here, so. Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, it's not in the middle. That's actually cool. It stands up on end. Okay. Let me see if I can get this car pushed back up against that. That's actually kind of cool that it stands up on end. That will make it easier for me to line this up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, that works. Uh, that's actually a good method. Stick it up on end and let it do it that way. Take it a second for that all that uh, cable to drag in. Try to get this car. It's kind of cool you can push the car just because that. I wonder if that's one of the reasons why the grip is so low in game is so you can easily do these types of missions. But, you know, again, you can solve a lot of that with engineering. You know, like I was pulling stuff with extra grip tires no problem all right here we go I just want to I'm gonna push this car back a hair just because I'm afraid that won't turn which it did fine okay let's see push you in a little push you in 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 okay so see that's with me not putting it on the root the hood let's hopefully putting the table in uh, so I have weight blocks. All this is weight blocks there. This, um, so that should help it tip. Hopefully, but the car is not as far forward as I'd like. So, and it's still able to go past 45. So I need to put some wedges there to keep it at 45. It's going to tip down if I stand on there. I think. All right, so we're close to getting this done. Um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do it one more time and then I'll call it quitsy, quitsy on this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put something that limits that to 45 degree angle. So I might just put a um, might just put a wedge there. All right, so I'm just going to do the hood thing again. That will help me uh, get this to come all the way up where it needs to be. Because these tow emissions are pretty rare anyways. The, the bumper tow would have been, you know, easier. This is just kind of me screwing around for fun. Um, Funzie's doing this. Is this connected? I cannot remember. That's connected, okay. Couldn't remember if, if the button disconnects or it connects it. Okay. 
Try to jump on the roof with this. There we go. Perfect. Grab it. Okay. Uh, it's not completely centered, but I can hopefully muscle it to where it needs to go. It's close to be in the center. Oh, no. Don't do that. And then when that, when that drags along, it will, should grab. It drags along the hood. There we go. Okay, let's push the car and try to get it lined up a little bit better here so that it tries to just get on. Yeah, definitely this is why, you know, I wanted things like the winch on toggle. Imagine if I had to sit there and hold it the whole time. It would be brutal, so toggle worked well for that. So a lot of effort for 1800 <laughs> But, um, you know, it's it's more the fun of building it and having a vehicle. You know, I enjoy having the vehicle in my garage, you know, here in my workbench that I can use it. And, you know, you kind of get attached. You build them attached to my pickup truck here. And so it's kind of fun getting back to using it again. And so, um, you know, the Mac R would have been a piece of cake to just get this done. But I... Um, you know, I wanted to, you know, it doesn't make sense pulling a little car with a huge wrecker. Um, I wanted to get a proper sized wrecker for this. There we go. Okay, so that's on. Um, that works now better. Um, I'll limit it with a 45 degree uh, wedge or something so that it can't go past 45. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's working pretty well, so. All right, so we'll end it there. Um, you know, I like said, I'm just stitching this on the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.